MBTA announced plans to update its Fair Media system over the next few years, including changing its payment options, adding one more trip protection, which allows riders to board with zero balance, and ending the passback system, which stops multiple riders from sharing one card. I think being able to pay when you don't have money on your card is good, because I know sometimes I'm in a rush, and like adding money to your thing just takes a long time. New payment options will include new trolley cards, a mobile trolley card app, credit card, and mobile wallets such as Apple Pay. A $3 fee will apply to physical trolley cards and the mobile app. I'm looking forward to the Apple Pay thing because it means I can leave my card at home. And not everyone has access to like debit cards and stuff like that. It's a bit of struggle still, like being able to pay for the card, especially like for each ride, there's a certain amount of money, but I'm just hoping that it'll be more accessible to people. We can see where those newest features may place an undue burden on the people that rely most heavily on public transportation and who the MBTA serves. In response to complaints against the $3 fee, MBTA said this fee will help cover the one more tree protection, and they're working on a plan to distribute free trolley cars for those in need. We'd note that reduced fare program participants will be getting cars for free, and we'll also be partnering with local organizations in low-income and minority neighborhoods to ensure that this cost is not a burden to our riders. As the plan has not been finalized yet, MBTA will be holding more virtual public meetings to explain a fair transformation. And they encourage the public to participate in the meetings and share feedbacks. For Bureau News Service, I'm Phoebe Chen.